The Archangel of the North is blowing this trumpet. He's trumpeting this call for the return of oneness upon our planet Earth. Preparing for this awakening to the presence and the arrival of this free gift of this majestic, mighty source of the new sacred science age. With this parade of the abundant gift of our universe that is coming on our way. And the trumpeting is signaling this ending time of the ego game. Telling us this is the time of the ending of the grand experience and grand experiments of this poverty, consciousness and human slavery is the ending time of the game. And this trumpeting is waking up to respond to this coming abundance living grace and to open up the eyesight to see the choice that in front of us for this miracle at hand. And to know this miracle of the ether energy of the void has arrived. It's time to be unleashed. And Mother Earth, in her great big joyful tears, is waiting to receive us in her loving arm of warm embrace to give us that nurturing and healing that we all need. The liberations from that human slavery, the liberations from that survival poverty and economic destitution is on the way to collapse. And the seven angel on our planet Earth now is going to be showing up everywhere so we can feel the presence of the divine entity that is appoint us with this free gift of free electricity, free energies of the infinite abundance of the universe of the void. It's time of celebrations for the coming footstep of our golden age. No more slavery and no more survival. With free electricity, free energy, and free energy food. And space travel. And healthy environment, clean air, and 
clean, clean, clean energy in our planet Earth. The glory of our mighty creator and the glory of our co-creator on our planet in the body is coming our way to liberate humanity with this abundance, grace, and gift of our supreme creator of our universe. It's party time to wake up and return to full consciousness so we could once again enjoy the grace and the fun as truly children of our great supreme creator. It's time to wake up choice of this miracle at our hand as this children of our supreme creator so we could all have a lot of time to play and have fun it's celebration time for the coming of our golden age on our planet for those organic being has heart and soul and for those non-organic being has no heart and no soul they too are invited to join if they would choose to join the big 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 party of the new world and be part of the player it's time to put down their selfish gain because they are not allowed to do so anymore. The truth is in open sight in our public eyes. Hooray in our triumph and victory for this new sacred technology of sacred science to lead our ways on our return to full consciousness as this children of our supreme creator on our planet in our nurturing and love and healing in our in the embrace of our mother earth nature May all things come to pass as we rise and soar in time and space. Hi, this is uh, Dorothy Lamb with Women of the Rainbow and today we have a very special guest over here. And uh, this gentleman is called Mr. Conrad, Conrad Sorensen, uh, president of Grassroot Enterprises of Tesla. And uh, I'm sure you'll be very happy and excited to hear what he has to share with you. Um, anyone that doesn't want free electricity, I bet everybody do want free electricity, and that's something we like to share with you. Um, Mr. Sunrensen, I would like to ask you if you could briefly introduce about yourself and uh, what, where you're coming from and the company. My name is uh, Conrad Sorensen. I'm uh, from uh, Henderson, Nevada. Uh, I named my company after Nikola Tesla, which was the inventor of uh, AC current, which that is uh, the power that we use in our everyday life. He uh, invented that over a hundred years ago, um, and he also tried to give us free electricity a oh, hundred years ago, and because of a few greedy businessmen like J.P. Morgan uh, that ended up sponsoring Edison instead of Nikola Tesla and bringing about uh, electricity through the grid instead of free electricity, which Nikola Tesla wanted to do a hundred years ago. And uh, in another word, 
You're talking about a hundred something years ago, free electricity is already available. What is so unique is how does you come across this electricity, uh, free electricity, now the plan is available and how there is a precise marketing plan, how to bring it out. Yes, we plan on uh, trying to, we plan on doing 100 demonstrations, two in each state, as soon as we reach 1.6 million people that will come witness this technology. And uh, we're currently over uh, 600,000, and as soon as we get a m 1 million more people, we're going to send those people that are registered an invitation to come see a demonstration uh, in their state. So if I hear you right, is um, we're going to be setting the network foundations of networking with people and uh, to get a large number of one million something people and then we're going to be able to, to demonstrate it. Um, so how do you like people to contact you or is there a particular way to, to register? Yes, um, I'm, the website will be www.getin.us and you'll be able to uh, go to that website and get signed up. I also have a videotape for $15. If you buy that videotape, that videotape explains what we're trying to do and uh, I now register you for free if you just buy that videotape that demonstrates what we're trying to accomplish. Um, can you briefly share with the public about this free free electricity technologies, uh, the concept of it and how the electricity was generated? Well there's quite a few different ways but uh, the one that we're currently working on uses permanent magnets uh, to as a power source and for it uh, is uh, driven by a uh, 50 horsepower we call it uh, the hummingbird motor it uh, puts out um, 50 horsepower, it's only about 13 inches in diameter and about 7 inches deep and it uses 36 permanent magnets to drive it which that drives uh, what we call the Sundance generator which is a 30 kilowatt an hour generator. Um, I understand also from watching the video that um, there have been a lot of demonstrations in the past have been demonstrated to uh, the governmental officials and uh, to many states. This is correct and that's what we're having a problem with is uh, and why we need the people to come and see this and witness this before their very eye is we're up against the most powerful and the richest people on the world to bring allow us to bring this technology to the world and that's what we're up against and that's why we need the people's support. Well ladies and gentlemen hear this truth out there know that the reasons why you doesn't have this free gift of free electricity and know where is the reasons that it happens who that still await all this free gift that you could have um, uh, would you mind share with us other than this free electricity there's also you mentioned some other new technology that also very amazing yeah, uh, first let me explain uh, the people that come and witness uh, the demonstration what they'll be entitled to for just coming and witnessing the demonstration is they'll be entitled to there'll be a list and they'll be entitled to 26,000 kilowatts a year free electricity just for coming and witnessing this demonstration and that's all we ask and and with uh, the large amount of people we we believe that uh, the, the technology won't be suppressed because of the people. The people will be our supporters, they'll be our strength, and they'll be and actually our security. Could you describe, if let's say at that such time when we have enough people and then we, have, uh, we start to use that free technology for free electricity, how does that look like? Is it a tiny device or a big box? What, what is that? 
the the one we're currently working on would be about the size of an air conditioner about three foot by three foot by three foot and uh, it doesn't make a lot of noise mm. and it's non-polluting and uh, it's pretty well self-contained I see so it's just sitting a tiny box in it in the house and then you got free electricity well actually we have a plan to um, put these uh, in a uh, either a simulated rock in front of or by your power meter or an actual working waterfall oh a waterfall yeah. oh that's neat so they could be um, it could be created in different forms even for decorative purpose too huh yes neat um, that means it's not it's something very tiny and something very uh, natural to have and uh, um, hmm you also mentioned something non-polluting. <laughs> non-polluting. It doesn't make noise. It doesn't make. Uh, it does. It does make a little noise, but not uh, enough to worry about. About size. About the noise of an air conditioner. So it could be both indoor and outdoor. Yes, uh, I wouldn't have one in the house, but uh, maybe out in a garage. I see, and uh, it has to be has to be in enclosed, or it could be in open air. Um. Yeah, we plan on putting it in enclosure. That that's uh, for a couple reasons. One's for security, and and uh, and uh, so uh, they're protected from the the weather also. What about um, do the people um, need any maintenance? No, the the homeowner won't have to do anything. Uh, if uh, for some reason one of the windings goes out, it'll it'll uh, send. Uh, there'll be a modem on this that will uh, it'll automatically send a uh, information back to the company to send somebody to come uh, repair this. And so we'll we'll come out and repair this. The homeowner will not have to do anything. Mm. Uh, does it affect the home, uh, by the way the homeowner will not own the, the generator uh, they'll just uh, will be uh, supplying them with this it will be our equipment and we maintain it just like the power meter at your home I see so uh, is like uh, is lease but it's free you don't need to pay rent to lease it something like that no uh, what we're uh, why we're um, giving the homeowner this opportunity is they're actually giving us a way to, to send that power back to the power companies and then we uh, will uh, charge the power companies for the, the power. We're hoping to get uh, a five cents a kilowatt hour and that's how we will be able to pay for the machines and we'll make uh, uh, quite a bit of money uh, each year and in fact uh, actually that equipment would be paid off in less than one year. In other words, um, you gave the homeowner this device and it generated free electricity for the homeowner. At the same time, it generated electricity for you guys and you could turn it around and supply it to the yeah, electricity we, company. That's, that's what we're planning on doing is uh, we uh, plan on making the money from that generator um, selling the power back to the power companies. Wow. So they don't have to go out and build any more uh, coal fire or uh, gasoline or, or gas fired furnaces or uh, we'll be able to do it uh, non-polluting. So does this kind of electricity contagion on uh, whether there's sun or not, whether there's weather raining or not? Um? No, uh, it uh, uses permanent magnets as long as those magnets uh, stay magnetized, uh, which uh, they believe that was over a hundred years, so it should uh, produce the power for a hundred years and they're building uh, um, very strong material. Mm. Uh, if you talk about electricity inside the home uh, another major energy uh, that I could think of whether you might have this brand new technology I, w I would imagine you would have uh, what about technology of uh, fuel for automobile? We got uh, over 500 technologies that we have on hold right now because we don't have the capita to bring them out. Uh, but there is uh, many ways that uh, we have many ways to run automobiles without uh, uh, pollution. One technology I personally saw a year and a half ago 
was a engine actually running on birdseed and uh, I how that worked was uh, this man uh, inventor is he's no longer uh, with us he died about a year ago His, <coughs> he uh, created this uh, it's actually like lightning in, in a bottle it's uh, he called it a continuous plasma arc, which got 100,000 degrees. And with that arc, he, uh, uh, with a pneumatic pump, shoots in anything that uh, is biomass, which uh, birdseed is, and uh, it immediately vaporizes it. It starts uh, accumulating uh, that vapor and accumulator, and then once the pressure builds up, it goes through a regular LP gas uh, regulator, and the only thing you change on your car is you put a propane carburetor on there. And um, this man, uh, when he first invented it, uh, ran it on, uh, crack corn which he went all around the country 20,000 miles on 60 pound bag of that crack corn. Wow! Have you physically witnessed this car the way it runs yourself? I did. I saw the engine run. I didn't see the car. I, I, I did see the car but uh, they had the engine in a room and uh, ah, I where see. I saw the demonstration. I see. That's amazing! Wow! And uh, what about um, Hmm. I, I like to ask you this question about, um, um, and also that uh, that hummingbird motor, uh, the electric uh, motor that drives that uh, generator, we're planning on one day maybe putting those in the cars too, only a little bit bigger. Say it one more time. Uh, we plan on using. Um, those uh, electric motors, those small, uh, we call it the hummingbird motor, in uh, cars eventually. Uh, so they'll be able to be electric cars, but have a lot of power and you won't have to charge them up. That means use the magnetic power you were talking right. about. That's the correct. same that put in you, the house. Yeah, the, that uh, motor is uh, ran by uh, magnets. You're correct. I see. Um, I would imagine if you can have um, replacement for gas for car for electricity in the house. Wow, that means you'll be able to supply a. I would imagine we'll supply a, a fuel to charge for airplane. That could fly faster. Well, actually, the president of our uh, company, uh, Wayne Netter, inventor, um, ten years ago. Um, on nothing but water. This engine ran on nothing but water. It used the hydrogen and uh, the oxygen f to power that engine. To power airplane engines to run on just water? Right. We, we could have, uh, if uh, the government would have listened to us at that time, we would have, they wouldn't have been able to drive those airplanes into the Twin Towers because they would have been filled up with water instead of gasoline. Boy, hmm, ah, I see, water, use natural water, just for airplane, well, if that's the case, we, our body, our human body are made of water, I mean, is that possible we could make our body fly? <laughs> <laughs> well, I haven't, but, uh, um, all, all the basically uh, what they're doing with uh, the water is they uh, they use a little bit of um, sodium hydroxide and you put a DC current and uh, it actually uh, the hydrogen will come off at a certain level and the oxygen will come off at a different level remixes it back together as a water gas hmm. and that gas is. Uh, well, it's actually implosive, but it will actually ignite. So you could actually ignite water as a gas. I I've see. seen it done many, many times. I see. You mentioned something about um, you come across a lot of inventors. They invent various different kinds of new technology, and they all uh, spontaneously was given this intelligence of these inventions through a specific way of a vision, through the white light 
Yes, uh, many of them have. Uh, Nikola Tesla himself, when he discovered uh, AC current, it was through uh, a bright light. And I had a neighbor, his name was Frank Richardson, which had a similar uh, experience. And then I have also met uh, this, the inventor of uh, the, the Sundance generator. His son told me his dad had a similar experience. So, um, uh, people, people see those visions they receive in white light. White light de defined as a divine, uh, divine illuminations from the universal creators. Yeah, I believe uh, God gives uh, a lot of people these visions and uh, hopefully uh, uh, one will be powerful enough to bring it to the people. Hmm. So, um, could you share with us how you become involved with this, uh, with this kind of uh, new technology, and how you become empowered with uh, with sharing this? I'd love to. Uh, I had a neighbor uh, back uh, in the early seventies. Uh, he he got that vision. Uh, his name was Frank Richardson. Uh, he developed a permanent magnet generator. His was a solid state generator and he tried to bring it to the world for 25 years. Unfortunately he died six years ago and um, the, the company that I bought a dealership through which is called United Community Services of America, they went on tour in 99 uh, with a um, um, that uh, the the motor there allowing people to come it was the world's most efficient motor uh, that's the the hummingbird motor and uh, I uh, they had the ad for the free electricity and I thought uh, they might be uh, uh, now that my neighbor was dead uh, you, you know taking his technology and but I found out they had something very similar but it was different and uh, but I found out they had all these other technologies behind them that they're trying to bring to the people. One of them uh, that I think they use right over here in Hawaii, which was the Kepler buoy. It's uh, actually uh, two 12-foot discs that uh, the bottom dish is anchored to the ocean floor. The top dish uh, is also 12 inches in diameter. It has to ride. It rides a wave. You have to have at least three, well, two to three foot of wave, uh, and then it, it, they're put together, but with a uh, a shaft uh, that uh, in in between them. That shaft is a working pump. That pump gets to a thousand psi, and then it you have a hose that. Uh, uh, brings that water to the shore and it goes through a desalization plant um, and then you can make any type of water you want but it, as long as you got three foot away it will make 7,000 gallons of fresh water a day. Fresh water a day? That's correct. Uh, what you're talking about? And you can see that on our uh, company's website which is uh, www.ucsofa.com. It should look like ucsofa.com. It stands for United Community Services of America. I see. Um, does it mean that if we have this technology that could make water uh, from the oceans, does it mean that um, we could? physically doesn't need a water company? Well, I would love to work with the water company on supplying them the water at a, a cheaper facility, a way to make water. Because mm. you're not using any electricity, you're just using uh, the ocean waves to make this uh, water available. And you only have to change the filters about every six months. So it's very, uh, very efficient way to make water. Uh, how could you apply it with uh, making water in the desert? Well, you you naturally have to have the waves, so it wouldn't be uh, in the desert. You'd have to be uh, have the water uh, 
be uh, near the ocean making the water and then shipped uh, to the desert. Or pipe it to the desert. Or pipe it, yes. Hmm. So um, other than we're talking about electricity, automobile, using waters as in, in replace of gasoline, what else the new technology that you know of that the government has forbidden us to have uh, that affiliate with uh, this company? One other uh, technology which you can see on that same website, uh, ucsulfa.com, is um, a medical laser camera. This, this uh, camera, and, uh, you could actually look in, down into concrete or buried, um, uh, well, from that website you'll see him actually demonstrate it, you'll see a buried mine that's down about three foot. And uh, what one thing we'd like to do uh, would be uh, use these cameras and find all these buried mines and shoot them with a uh, fluorescent paintball and then go in and have people uh, uh, unmine the mine to make them safe. Because with this uh, this camera, and it just looks like a, a Polaroid camera, you'll actually it actually looks right down into the ground, and you you could see it, uh, um, that mine buried. And what we'd like to do is uh, uh, they've already done this: is they fly over the minefield with the helicopter and uh, spot the mines, and then shoot uh, with the fluorescent paintball. And we'd love to have the government support us in bringing this about available. So you're talking about a new technology in mining the mine in a more safer way and more seems to be a more simple way, huh? That's absolutely correct, uh, because it's very expensive the way that they're unmining the fields right now. And so they intentionally want to use expensive way and a hard way. Whereas we could have an easier, simple way, or even uh, s safer. safer way, they would not let us have it. That's absolutely correct. But well, ladies and gentlemen, this is precisely why you need to know. Uh, know that what the gift of the Universal Creator has given to you, your endowment right through this, uh, this uh, uh, intelligence and visions that these that we have people that is alive living that want to bring it to out and share with the public and yet know who is the one that put a veil right in front of your eyes and all you need to do is help tear the veil down and demand it right that's correct great we are almost at this point of that evolving door where this glass door we just need a little bit push this evolving door could flip over to the other side of the hologram from lack to abundance just in the blink of eyes yeah once we get one more million people we're going to bring about all these technologies and uh, precisely at this stage um, since you joined the business how many people that uh, so far um, this new technologies um, network of the public were uh, how many what where which stage you are at or how many people has been able to reach out um, in percentage well this this company has done uh, three national tours uh, one in 1996 one in 1999 and one in 2002 uh, they didn't get the audience that they're hoping for and we didn't get the support that we were hoping for we thought we'd get uh, in 2002 all the the 1.6 million people uh, from our we went to all the 50 states and uh, we uh, 911 came about uh, part way during uh, the tour so uh, after that the attendance uh, started slacking off uh, we've been trying very hard to bring about these technologies. It's it's just sad to me to think that um, these people like Eminem, uh, the rap star, and uh, the 
um, the pro wrestlers and people are spending all that money into people like this that don't benefit them one so one bit but with the technologies we have it it's hard for us to even get a dime from the people and and that's sad and that's where the world is uh, they're giving the money to uh, all these these uh, people that aren't benefiting their lives one bit um. In other words, it sounds like uh, I would emerges most government would want to even use it for themselves for, I mean, government has spent a lot of money in electricity, in uh, all these kind of uh, expenses. What, how was the outcome for, uh, for well, those respond from the government? Authority? Well, we were hoping to get a better response. We did do a tour for them. Uh, that was uh, the first one in 96, so we invited every senator, the, the president, the vice president, uh, Janet Reno. Uh, we invited all those people. But the only thing we accomplished from that tour is deregulation. Uh, you you got to understand the people that are running the government and, the, and the, actually the world. Uh, they've made their money with the, the old technologies, uh, oil and coal and and uh, gasoline and uh, they're afraid uh, of uh, um, their money cash flow uh, if these new technologies come about. Um, what about approaching? You do have experience knowing of knowledge that um, certain state governmental official was being approached and uh, they doesn't even respond in, in terms of state level. No, um, in fact, uh, um, in 2001, uh, we also uh, we were invited to go to the Kansas Congress. You, you could also go to uh, that same website at UC SOFA, and you'll see uh, uh, a thing that says Kansas Congress. You'll see the speech that uh, the president of our company, Dennis Lee, made to that con uh, Congress, and because they wanted uh, electricity. Um, and uh, just copy that from that, uh, the website there and read that and that will give you all the information about all this. So was the response from, uh, from that stay was unfavorable? Um, yes, it was unfavorable. So in other words, uh, the state government run the same way uh, as the federal government. They were they respond unfavorably to support uh, those big corporations to continue to enslave humanity, right? Hmm. That's correct. Um, I guess for all of you do hear this program, you do have a choice in front of you whether you want to choose to support to be the wealthy corporate entity to be to make yourself as a slave economic slave or you want to choose yourself to support the empowerment for, for all you and us uh, for the public to bring free technologies uh, you have a choice and with this information you do have a responsibility to share with many more and I would like to challenge everybody go on that website and check it out and study it spread the word and uh, um, join and register with uh, with Conray and uh, be knowledgeable about it and maybe we could speed up that process get more, enough people for 1.2 million people so we could have this free technology as soon as possible right that's correct and once again my website will be this www.get apostrophe in dot us well, thank you so very much. I really appreciate uh, the information that you share. And uh, I also like to uh, ask you briefly share about you have personal knowledge of a lot of uh, new, new technology inventor. They have suffered uh, harassment, oppressions, or even attacks by uh, federal corporations of the wealthy or even uh, certain governmental agency that uh, try to suppress that technology. Would you like to share that? Well, just about all of them have, um, but uh, I don't want to get into any real incidents there, because uh, I would 
much rather them to share those with the people one day. I see. Um, as far as your organization, do do your organizations or the, all those inventors do they have a regular annual meetings together? The dealers, yes, we have a meeting every uh, mid uh, July, and uh, we get to see a lot of new technologies at these uh, conferences. I see. So to become a dealer, how many dealers right now in the country? There will always be uh, 2,000 dealerships. Uh, there's actually um, about 15 or 1,300 dealers right now. Some of the dealers own multiple dealerships. I see. So that means if some people want to be fully involved um, with this spreading this new technology and networking, they could sign up to be a dealer. Yes, or you could call, uh, contact me. Uh, my area code is 702. Phone number is 566-8997. What's the requirement or the qualification to become a dealer? And what's the process? There's no uh, process. Uh, you must um, uh, buy the dealership from another dealer and whatever he is willing to sell it for, that's uh, what you'd have to pay. There has been some dealerships that have been sold for a hundred thousand dollars. Wait a minute. Um, you mentioned about two thousand dealership and right now there's only thirteen, fifteen hundred, so there's still the another room to go. But, but why why could could you not buy it directly from the um, the the original the, the big development company or No, you first? must buy it from another dealer and um, or there is a uh, man in the company that uh, the dealers usually come to when they want to sell their dealership and, and I can get you in contact with him. Hmm. So if anyone wants to interested to become a dealer, it will cost as much as like a hundred thousand dollars, you think, today's time? Um, I didn't I didn't pay that. I paid a lot less than that, but some people have paid up to a hundred thousand dollars. I personally met a man that paid uh, $100,000 for a dealership. And then to be a dealership, you doesn't need to have an office, or don't you have need to have an office as a group of staff working regularly, 24 hours? What's, uh, the dealership just allows you to buy and sell any of the products uh, through United Community Services of America. And it also gives you the opportunity for the, the free electricity program. And uh, the company is very generous on the way that they're going to be paying their dealers uh, with the, the money from the, the electricity. Are you talking about there are new technology of device that we could purchase now other than we're waiting for this free, te free electricity plan? Yes, there's uh, many products that are available there on uh, that company's website. Of, they'll be on my website uh, uh, on uh, G E T apostrophe I N dot U S, but right now you could look at them at ucsofa.com. I see. So, in other words, if uh, let's say you are a organizations, you have a lot of members, or uh, let's say a building. Okay, um, you have a a building that let's say a condo. You have a hundred unit and the uh, maintenance fee, including provide electricity to every apartment in the building. Um, in that case, then those kind of buildings or management company, if they are interested to join, that would be very beneficial. Um, the apartment owners wouldn't be able to do that, just the in, 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 uh, individuals in apartments would. We're looking for the witnesses, and, and uh, so we're looking for the, the people themselves so uh, we, uh, apartment owner, if he had a hundred uh, people or a hundred uh, units, there'd be just the one person going to witness that demonstration. We're looking for a hundred people. In other words, you're song. looking looking for more people in numbers to be empowered rather than empowered to a very small 
number of uh, key people that has that control other people. That's Is correct. That, that's we're looking concept. for the, the people because uh, we're actually uh, looking for voters and it's your voting power that's going to allow us to bring this technology about because you will uh, want that. You'll be contacting your senators and congressmen uh, to allow us to bring forth this technologies. So it's like uh, looking for grassroots public individuals to be to empower the public that's individuals in the correct. public le individual level. That's correct. That's great, and uh, um, I like to say that this is the time of the turning when everybody should be knowledgeable and not ignorant about the oil war and why uh, you and me need to reverse it and we do within our own power knowing this knowledge that we have something in our hand that could compete and uh, uproot this oil control in your life and, and our life in our society and uh, it is our right to choose and to support ourselves and this is a wonderful power tour technology is the way to go and uh, rather than, uh, rather than, uh, I would say this is almost like a peace march in a different form, huh? That's correct. <laughs> uh, that's that's correct. I think this would be the most uh, positive way to stop the war. Right, right. Well, I appreciate so much your sharings, and uh, I, I hope to talk to you sometimes. And I pray the day will come. We'll see you again, and we'll have those devices in our house. Thank you, Dorothy. Okay. Thanks.